How are you guys? This is Drama Buzz and welcome back to my channel. I am a huge fan of Japanese build series and this year I enjoyed Japanese builds so much that I was left speechless. So today in this video we are going to look at the build series that were released in 2023. If I missed any series then please comment down to let me know. So buckle up, we are going in for a ride. Also please suggest me some topics for my next videos in the comments. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe and share my channel for more content like this. Now I won't bother you guys some more. So let's get started. My personal weatherman, popular handsome man and weather forecaster Sagasaki is actually a tyrant at home. Yo, an erotic manga artist in a tight spot knows this very well. This is because the two of them are living together. More than that, it's because he cooks and cleans for Sagasaki. To no surprise, in exchange for being provided food, he must obey everything that Sagasaki says. What comes from such a contract? My Personal Weatherman is a very promising series. It ended on October 13 with episode 8 being the last one. This has everything that makes a good adaptation. I am seriously in awe at how well written this series is. The screenwriter and the production team took the essence of the original source and enhanced it. Good production value and good chemistry between the leads. It really maintains the production quality, the same level of hotness and horniness up to the last episode. If it's with you. Thanks to a past trauma, Amani, a high school student, has given up on the idea of seriously loving anyone. On the first day of his new life in Inoshima, he met Ryuji, a boy his age. Ryuji happened to be Amani's type and he would also like to hang out with him more. But what started out with light feelings is now beginning to change into something unexpected. The story was heartwarming and it unfolded beautifully without any unnecessary drama. The acting is very realistic and you just feel relaxed throughout the series. But it was so short that I'm still craving for it. Overall, nice, light and a must-watch series. Tokyo in April is the new employee Kazuma, who returned to Tokyo from America, reunites with his close friend from middle school, Ren, who is currently working as the top designer at their company. It is their first meeting since the abrupt farewell during their third year in middle school 10 years ago. Ren was his best friend and his first love. He is as strong and good looking as ever and Kazuma is happy just being with him. However, Ren avoids the subject of their time in middle school rather unnaturally and acts like a friendly former classmate. But he is behaving this way because he is gay and above all fears being rejected by Kazuma. Yet one night the two of them get together again. Really love this show as it tackled some serious issues. I would categorize the series as more slice of life angsty but also with sweet moments too. The beginning was very promising but it kind of fell apart a bit with too many flashbacks, plot cliches and a rushed ending. But overall it's been a while since I saw Grounded BL tackling serious topics while also staying interesting and portraying realistic characters. Minato Shuji Coin Laundry 2 Minato's Laundromat 2 is second season of the Japanese beer series. Minato Akira, running his grandfather's laundromat, finds his relationship with Katsuki Shintaro facing unexpected challenge after three months of bliss. Meanwhile, Asuka and Hirangi's budding romance takes a complicated turn. Brace yourself for trials and tribulations that await these two pairs of lovers in the captivating sequel. When season 2 was released, my excitement knew no bounds. Unfortunately, that excitement slowly withered away as I watched each episode. Many consumers were very upset about the series. I was hoping for continued character growth from Minato and Shin, but unfortunately, the first 6 episodes went to square 1 and also circled around and around the very tired, poor communication cliche. But overall, the series was fun, the cast had a fun chemistry, and the series have good cinematography. So overall, you can can watch it. Our dining table. 
Eating around other people is a struggle for salaryman Yutaka, despite his talent for cooking. All that changes when he meets Minoru and Tane, two brothers many years apart in age, who ask him to teach them how to make his delicious food. Yutaka soon finds himself having a change of heart as he looks forward to the meals they share together. For me, this is close to the perfect fluffy style BL drama having heartfelt moment with a dash of reasonable angsty. The pacing was perfect and I was so wrapped up in every moment and was never bored. As for the main pairing, I personally loved their chemistry. There was never a single moment where I felt anyone was reaching too much, trying too hard, nor was there any awkwardness. All in all, if you are into sweet, fluff, realistically built relationships and tender, adorable family moment, I would highly recommend this one. Polythylin Terephthalate Ryu and Kaoru gets to know each other's feeling after a drinking party with their friends. They started living together but as time passed, misunderstanding also arose. This was a good watch if you are looking for something outside of the norm and okay with something that feels like a small indie project without a lot of money put into it. Production quality is not that good but its story is outstanding. You can have a break from other typical BL stories with this one. Kiss 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 Love to Shower Kiss 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 Love to Shower is a 16th episode TV short drama guaranteed to give you a secretly enjoyable love experience allowing you to relieve the heart pounding scenes. The End of the World with You The End of the World with You is a Japanese BL series about two ex-lovers reuniting before the apocalypse. In 10 days, a meteor will strike the earth and kill the humanity. Masubi Nishina is surprised to reunite with his university boyfriend Ritsu Kasukabe, who once broke his heart. The world's impending destruction forces them to team up together. They go on a sad journey of redemption and reconciliation. This series has an open ending. I am trying not to give any spoilers, that's why I am not going to tell my theory but at the end of it, I loved this series. The unpredictable events, eccentric character and gritty relationship drama create it as a memorable BL series. Masubi's sweet voice is heaven and the NC scenes are bestest best. Lastly, I loved the music, especially the last song. I think the music reflected the sad but bright world they lived in which makes it more emotional. So overall, this is a must watch and you should watch it. Naked Dining Naked Dining is a Japanese build series about two men and their culinary adventures. The main character visits his grandmother's countryside home after she passes away. He meets her young protege who teaches him many recipes. They enjoy making tasty delicacies from different countries. Despite their friendship, the protagonist hides an unusual habit from his acquaintance. He is a secret nudist who enjoys eating meals in the buff. I was so interested because it was new storyline and felt nice to watch. The food representation was on the point. I liked the cinematography. But as the show went on, I started to question what am I even seeing? Medical storyline, acting, full of cliche troops mixed with unnecessary misunderstandings. Started good but got muddled in the middle. But anyways, still it ended on an okay note. So it is a must try. So that's it for today's video guys. I know that these are not the only good ones and there are more videos to come. Wait for it. Hope you guys liked it. Again if I miss some of your favorite series then please comment down and I will make another video for it. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel for more. Bye bye.